Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is August the 10th. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. Everyday kids from all around the world gather together here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. Today's reading is in the Gospel of John, chapter 9, verses 18 through 41. And then we finish our reading in Isaiah, chapter 42, verses 18 and 19. Well, the Pharisees wanted to know who had healed the blind man. What do you think they found out? Let's read and find out ourselves from John chapter 9. The Jewish leaders still refused to believe that the blind man could now see. So they called his parents and they asked them, Is this your son? Was he born blind? If so, how can he now see? His parents replied, We know this is our son and that he was born blind. But we don't know how he can see or who healed him. Ask him. He's old enough to speak for himself. His parents said this because they were afraid of the Jewish leaders who had announced that anyone saying that Jesus was the Messiah would be expelled from the synagogue. That's why they said, he's old enough. Ask him. So for the second time, they called in the man who had been blind and told him, God should get glory for this because we know this man, Jesus, is a sinner. I don't know whether he's a sinner, the man replied. But I know this, I was blind and now I can see. But what did he do, they asked. How did he heal you? Look, the man exclaimed, I told you once, didn't you listen? Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciple too? Then they cursed him and said, you are his disciple, but we are the disciples of Moses. We know God spoke to Moses, but we don't even know where this man comes from. Why, that's very strange, the man replied. He healed my eyes, and yet you don't know where he comes from. We know that God doesn't listen to sinners, but he is ready to hear those who worship him and do his will. Ever since the world began, no one has been able to open the eyes of someone born blind. If this man were not from God, he couldn't have done it. You were born a total sinner, they answered. Are you trying to teach us? And they threw him out of the synagogue. When Jesus heard what had happened, he found the man and asked, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen him, Jesus said, and he is speaking to you. (laughs) Yes, Lord, I believe, the man said, and he worshipped Jesus. Then Jesus told him, I entered this world to render judgment, to give sight to the blind, and to show that those who think they see, that they are blind. Some Pharisees who were standing nearby heard him and asked, Are you saying we're blind? If you were blind, you wouldn't be guilty, Jesus replied. But you remain guilty because you claim you can see. Wow, I love this story. Rather than rejoicing in a miracle of a man's eyes being restored to sight, the Pharisees were intent on discrediting Jesus. They thought Jesus was a sinner because he had healed the man on the Sabbath. They even kicked the healed man out of the synagogue when he defended Jesus. It was the Pharisees who were blind because they were unable to see that Jesus really is the Son of God. Let's make sure that our eyes aren't shut like these Pharisees. Let's see Jesus ourselves. Let's recognize that he is indeed the Son of God. This is what Isaiah chapter 42 verse 18 and 19 says. Listen, you who are deaf, look and see, you blind. Who is as blind as my own people, my servant? Who is as deaf as my messenger? Who is as blind as my chosen people, the servant of the Lord? Well, we've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing. I sure hope you join me. Until that time, you go forward in God's joy, and you let his joy be your strength. And remember this, too that you, my friend, are loved. How about that? All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, bye-bye.